when you are trapped in an abusive relationship like I was with my ex-husband, you don't realize really that you are a victim because the other person always puts the blame on you. He will be telling me that if I ever tell anyone what is going on in the house, he will pay people to kill me. So things started by him being abusive verbally. Slowly, slowly, he went into physical abuse. He threatened to um, burn my face with acid, a lot of things. And then the police got involved and they got me out of the situation with my three children. I went through so much in eight years. It has affected both my children. As a mother, you always think that they are little, they don't understand. They are in the bedroom, you know, they don't hear, but they hear everything. So I made up my mind that if I don't live now, I'm going to die. And this kid, they will take them from him. So I wanted to protect my children. The day we left, in fact, we escaped. I remember very well when um, I was moved to the new place. It was a mixed feeling, one of security, but then it felt cold. I felt like I'm lost inside the space. Like, what am I gonna, how am I gonna, you know, make it look like a home? I mean, we had no cooker, no fridge, no table, no chairs, no nothing. I had to borrow money from all over the place and I've been struggling to pay the rent since. We don't have no more life, but we have roof over our head. Domestic violence isn't sorted out in five minutes. These families literally walk out with a few bugs, maybe a couple of suitcases and a couple of bin bugs. You're in an area that you don't know. The kids are not in school. Your benefits are eaten straight away. You don't have an opportunity to save. And all the time, you've got the trauma going on. I'm not the kind of person to go and ask for, give me something, never done it. But then at one point, I thought I have no other choice. When you have nothing and you don't know where to go, who to turn to, you get to the edge. That was where we were at when I got a cough that Boto UK granted you the money. She called me and she said, I have a very good news. I saw the smile on her face and she was showing me everything that Butler has agreed to pay for. And for me, it was, is that real? Is that not real? Are you sure? <laughs> because I can't take it. And uh, when she confirmed, I, I was crying like a baby that day. So we started by the um, uh, cooker, fridge, the beds. It was my son's bed. So when he had his bed, he slept there and he was so proud. The fact that we could look at activities for the children that would enhance the children and the fact that we could look for play items and the possibility of being able to send them off to classes. Just the fact that those things could come under the remit was what made us very excited. My son does singing, drama, and dancing. They feel like they are no more children. It makes a massive um, impact in a positive way on the kids because they learn to um, express themselves in the right way. Because of them, my children are happy. Because of this organization, <laughs> It's mind-blowing. Do you think that it's a financial help, but it changes so many points in my life? And um, I can never say enough thank you to Butler, to be honest. It's uh, life-changing. They, they changed my life. <laughs>